Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's explore the concept of reserve capacity of a car battery. Now notice here that reserve capacity is typically expressed in terms of hours. How many hours of reserve capacity do you have in this battery? Well, first let's define what it is. It establishes how long a battery can discharge at a rate of 25 amps in the case the belt breaks that is connected to the alternator or the alternator stops functioning so that there's no longer any more production of, of uh, charge for your car while you're driving that needs to run the spark plugs and needs to run all the electrical equipment on the car, the computers and so forth. So it's assumed that to, to do that you need 25 amps and if the alternator can no longer provide that charge or that current, the battery will do so for a certain amount of time until the battery, the voltage of the battery drops below 10.5 volts. So typically a car battery is rated at 12 volts, sometimes a little bit more than 12 volts. So the battery can continue to put out a current of 25 amps for a certain amount of time. That time, however long you can do that, is called the, the reserve capacity. So let's assume we have a car that has two hours of reserve capacity, which means that for the next two hours after the bell breaks, and let's assume the battery is fully charged, it can produce a current of 25 amps for the duration of two hours. At that point, it's assumed that the voltage begins to diminish down below 10.5 volts. So here we have a chart of that. So the, 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 let's say the, the, the belt breaks. Now we rely on the battery to produce the electricity for the car. It'll do that for an hour, for an hour and a half. Then the voltage begins to drop as the battery is discharging. And then after two hours, the battery drops below 10.5 volts, which then is assumed that it can no longer sufficiently provide the amount of current and voltage required to run the car. And at that point, you probably need to pull over and call for help. But the reserve capacity can then also be expressed in terms of amp hours. Now typically, if you have 25 amps at 12 volts, which is a 300 watt power output for a total of two hours, that would be equal to 50 amp hours. 25 amps, two hours, you multiply, you get 50 amp hours at 12 volts. The reason why it's a little bit less than 50 amp hours is because the voltage doesn't remain at 12 volts, it begins to diminish, so there's a little bit less total storage capacity of the first two hours of providing 25 amps because the voltage drops so it's approximated at about 48 amp hours. So if you have a 50 amp hour battery and it's fully charged and it's new, you can probably go for another two hours after the alternator no longer works and then the battery will then provide the power for the car to keep the car driving. Although you'll see your headlights slowly dim and things will stop working as well as they can, as they should as the battery continues to discharge. But with a good battery, you should be able to go for another two hours and hopefully it's during the daytime so you don't need your headlights and go a little bit farther. That's what we mean by reserve capacity.